So, we are back at it with the homie, my friend, our hero, the hero we all we didn't know we needed. The one, the only, Copper Cat. And here he is talking about the top five reasons you should stop smoking pot. Let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, what's goody? Well gone, gang gang. Good morning, good evening, good night. Whenever or wherever you're watching this video, definitely dab on that subscribe button. Hit them folks in that like button. Whoa, Millie Rock in New York and Millie Rock. Yeah, had it in my sock. Whoa, 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 whoa. Screw. <laughs> so, you got another installment of a commentary slash reaction style video to uh, the, the homie, uh, Copper Cap. Uh, here he is talking another video about weed, you know, and his uh, his dislike or disdain for weed culture. Okay, so I guess we should get into it. Let's uh, let's, let's grab some tea. Let's see what let's see what he has to say. See, I love his passion. I really do. I love his enthusiasm, but oftentimes his information is just misinformed. Okay, so we have another video by him it has about 100k views. Uh, 2k likes, uh, 3k dislikes. This is a very good ratio. Ha ha ha. Sarcasm. If you, if you didn't catch that. But uh, <laughs> let's go. Hi, Michael. Uh, coming at you every Wednesday from here on out with a five facts video. Since the internet seems to be lacking knowledge. So I'm here to bring them some knowledge. See, you guys seem to believe, here's my five facts on why you shouldn't smoke pot. Ooh. Since a lot of you like to comment on my video and tell me, hey Michael, uh, dude, chill out, man. You just gotta smoke pot, bro. It's so chill. Like you need to take a chill pill, smoke pot. <laughs> yeah, because I want to look like that. And I want to act like an imbecile. Mm. <laughs> you know, I have a brain. Something that all of you on the internet seem to lack. Especially when it comes to smoking pot. Real quick though, uh, what, what's going on with homie's hairline? I don't want to roast you, but you know, I gotta roast you for the culture. His hairline so far back. It looks like it's doing a Kobe baseline fadeaway jumper. <laughs> Where's his hairline? <laughs> hairline so far, Marco Polo couldn't find it. <laughs> I had one of my older videos, Dear Potheads, mm. uh, get a lot of attention <laughs> because of one Brian Silva who seemed to think that you know, it was funny what I was saying. That the fact that I had a friend jump off of a house. <laughs> They're like, like they tried to make he tried to make that into some kind of mockery. <laughs> well, this I want to I want to say this not to just Brian Selva, <laughs> shit boy, but to all of the little fuckheads out there on the web mm. that think that it's funny to make fun of people, you know, who have problems. And try to glorify that and tell me that I should smoke pot. <laughs> well, th these are there are five reasons why I don't smoke pot, and here they are. <coughs> One, mm. okay, marijuana kills. It has been proven that marijuana causes cancer in some people, or something like that. Number two. Uh, Marijuana does not cause cancer, and, and it does not cure cancer, but it does prevent the spread of cancer. Marijuana, thankfully now, is legally legalized, and people can get treated with medical marijuana. And overall, me ma uh, marijuana affects us all differently. We're all made up of different chemicals, different like ancestries, different like things that, you know, work for us and don't work for us. So to give a blanket statement that marijuana does cause cancer is is false. Um, if you smoke marijuana and you don't die from it, 
you actually, uh, it causes erectile dysfunction, which I'm sure a lot of you don't know what erectile dysfunction means, so I will explain it for you. Um, kids, you might want to muff your ears if you're watching this video. I would almost consider this 18 or older. Okay, listen. Erectile dysfunction is when your, your urethra doesn't stay, like, hard very long. So you can't have kids. Okay? Um, you know, I don't know about you, but I want to have kids. I actually want to have a family. <laughs> I mean, I think all of you just have no morals and no, you don't give a fuck. You know, you don't, you don't care to have a job and you don't care to have a family. So this is the part where I actually insert someone's actual take on the whole like marijuana, especially what he's saying right now. So I can't enunciate it as good as he does. So I'll cut straight to his video real quick. Uh, it's still, it's an incorrect thing. And again, this is a perception thing. So if you do it, let's say you smoke weed and then you have one of the best sexual experiences of your life. You're going to, you're going to associate the two and then it becomes true, right? The placebo effect is real. So then you can, you'll think, oh, I need to smoke weed to get better sex. It's a placebo effect, but it's still real. Um, also, you could have the opposite and then you're like, oh, I should never smoke weed because I get erectile dysfunction, whatever, right? Um, at the end of the day, weed isn't great for your sexual life, but it's not a big factor it's more than how you're you mentally place it okay so we're back yeah so hopefully that his his take on it was more insightful and gave you like the actual factual information but he's funny to watch though i can't lie he's funny to watch he's all like this like all that pure comedy this is like comedy stand up at its finest or go anywhere with your lives all you want to do <coughs> It's smoke pot all day. Like really? That's what you want to do? Really? With the rest of your life is smoke pot? You like to smoke pot? I would rather drink gasoline than smoke marijuana than have that in my body. Cause at least gasoline gives you the power to go. Number two, or number three. You know, it's been proven that marijuana causes you to lose memory and to and to stop. You know, you 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 don't. Over time, you start to forget things. Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to have memory issues when I'm older. I don't want to have that. Actually, marijuana does not like necessarily affect your recoil of like long-term memory essentially it affects your short-term memory because usually when you're um smoking marijuana you're not really all that present in the moment right so you never really store what's going on or what people said to begin with right you never really store that information there's nothing to recoil or nothing to like recall to begin with because you never stored that information from the start so short term it affects you but if you're like a daily it's pot smoker and, you, and you've been doing it for years, that's when it starts to like affect your long-term memory. So it's not necessarily a new old problem, it's just that you're not really present in that short-term span of when you smoke marijuana or smoke weed or pot, whatever you want to call it. But your memory does come back pretty quickly when you do quit and you do retrain your, your, your mind and like a muscle, right? So. Uh, again, I'm gonna cut straight to Tristan's video. I mean another person's video and he broke it down a little bit more scientifically because it's not your recall that's affected it's when you store the memory so let's say you see someone do something and that should usually would go into your short-term memory well with weed you just kind of don't care about what you just saw and you don't bother remembering it so when you try to remember something that happened five minutes ago when you were still stoned, um, you don't remember it because you never stored it properly. Now, when you smoke all day, every day for 10 years, now it starts to affect your long-term memory. Not because uh, of your recall. The recall is still there. But because when you're remembering something that happened three years ago, well, you were stoned three years ago. So you didn't uh, store the memory correctly. Yeah, it affects your memory, but it's not because of recall or any sort of, um, you know, cognition or, or, or neural pathway problem in your mind. It's generally because you didn't think it was important to remember. But yeah, so we're back. <laughs> and let's
just finished the video. It's about a minute left. Let's see what more uh, information he has to teach us. Number four. It causes you to eat a lot. Mm. Now, eating is okay. It's normal, as I said in my last video regarding fat people. <laughs> And then I have a little bit of, a, just a slight bit of a weight issue. Nothing wrong with that. Because some people just can't help it. Yo. But you know, I just don't want to gain needless weight. <laughs> anyway, and finally number five. Marijuana is against the motherfucking law. Okay, so with regards to the munchies part, that's the that's term, right? Munchies, it makes you want to eat more. So usually, um, depending on the type of person you are or your gen genetic makeup, You'll either become uh, fat or gain weight, or you'll lose weight. So, but no like person that smokes marijuana like heavy, heavy is really like muscular or fit. Obviously, there's outliers, but typically, most people that do smoke weed, that mean on a daily basis, don't really have that capability to get muscle muscle mass or be fit like that. Once in a while, obviously, again, like I said, once in a while, everything is okay. Too much of any good thing is good for nothing. If you're constantly abusing it, constantly taking it, and you almost need it to escape, think about it. Like, why do you smoke weed, right? If you if you have a generally like healthy relationship with weed, if you're constantly smoking weed to escape, constantly smoking weed to relax, ask yourself why. Why is it I'm choosing this one thing every single time to relax? Overall, you should be diversifying the things you choose to relax with. Not it's not always drugs, and not not always like substances, but like just in general. Can you relax on your own without weed? Ask yourself that. If you can't, then you're bordering the line of being addicted to it. And now he wants to talk about the whole law. Obviously, this is not refuted because it's legal, especially in Canada and in certain states in the country, but let's see, let's see the end of this for laughter purposes. For entertainment purposes only. Okay, I am a tax paying United States of American citizen, and I say that I pay for the law and I pay my taxes so that the law enforcement keep the drugs and the gang violence off of these streets. <coughs> and I don't want any of those issues in my neighborhood. Mm. So you can take your drugs and shut them up your ass. <laughs> and that is my five facts why you shouldn't smoke marijuana. That's it. You know, if you want to tell me what I should talk about in my next Five Facts video, uh, the comments are in the section below. <laughs> G fucking Willikers, y'all. Golly gee. Holy cannabis, Batman. <laughs> anyway. Bye. Well, I'll be a hot dog on a stick. Ginger, Ouch. American tax paying citizen, anti-pot spokesperson, and proud of it. Well, damn. Well, I'll be a hot dog on a stick. The ginger done spit some interesting information. <laughs> so hopefully I was able to impart on you some actual and factual information. Like, you know, he's funny. He's funny. I like his uh his enthusiasm, I guess, for things. But his information, especially what? 2015? It was not good. It was not good. Not at all. Not at all. See anytime I anytime I put myself on camera. I try not to like just talk out of, talk out of my ass, so talk out of my butt, and just talk out of my mind. I try to like actually, if I have anecdotal information, I should try to bring the anecdotal, but also bring the factual and research-based information as well. But yeah. So remember, as always, if it doesn't feed you, don't water it. Don't continue to water des dead situations that aren't nurturing you or making you better. If you find yourself that you know weed is causing some issues in your life. Um, relationship wise, career wise, if you're always high, ask yourself, just reevaluate your own relationship with weed. So I have other videos about, you know, weed related stuff that you want to check out. If you actually want to quit weed, I'll put it, put it up in the cards so or the description and potential withdrawal symptoms you might face when you do decide to quit weed and how to combat those to make it easier, it's easier to transition to sobriety. So as always, it doesn't feed you, don't water it. God bless, much love, peace and joy, namaste. And yeah, always remember, keep that same energy. Be real, be authentic, don't be fake. And don't tolerate that fake shit, that fake love from anybody around you. All right, fam, deuces.